So today we're going to start creating the background for our collage. So you're going to get a piece of this square tag board. It's just kind of a thicker paper and you're going to write your name on the back with a pencil. And then you're going to turn it over. And you can find this on the front round table in the classroom. And then you're going to need to get the following. A glue bottle, you should have this in your bin. Scissors, you should have those in your bin. A red piece of paper, you can find this on the front round table. And your two papers that you painted. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my first paper that I painted. And this is the one with the saran wrap, and I'm going to take the saran wrap off. And look, do you see the cool design that it made? And I'm going to throw the saran wrap away. Okay, then I'm going to cut apart all of these squares. So there's two. There's two more. And then here's my last two. Okay, and I'm going to set this to the side. Then I'm going to get my next paper, the salt, and I'm going to go to the trash can and I'm going to brush off all this salt. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, please do this over a trash can so that you don't have salt all over your table. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but if you look really close, do you see like the little crystals that the salt made? Okay, and then you're gonna cut this apart. So we have our two salts. Our two bubble wraps. And our two wet on wet. All right, now it's time to collage. So we actually don't need our scissors anymore. I just need my red paper and all my other ones. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of rip and tear and put our papers all over the place and just create a background. So you can kind of do this however you want. I'm just going to start by ripping a piece. And our goal is to do this without getting glue everywhere and getting it as flat as we possibly can on our paper. Okay. Now, can there be white areas showing? Absolutely. Okay. You are not using you are not supposed to use scissors for this. Not at all. You're supposed to just tear and rip and half an overlapping. Okay? If you can see how I glued that, I kind of just swirled it around so that I have a lot of glue, but it's not thick, meaning it's not going to like ooze out everywhere. Okay. So I'm gonna hold that down for a little while so I can make sure that it's really nice and flat. Okay, and I am just gonna keep alternating the different watercolor techniques that I'm using, and I'm also gonna keep changing the size of paper that I'm using. So I think I'm actually gonna make that one smaller. And then once again, I'm just swirling the paint. And by swirling, I mean I'm putting glue on, but then I'm kind of just spreading it out so that it's covering the entire piece, but it's not long, okay? Now, does this take a lot longer when you have to hold down each piece in between and make sure that it's flat? Yeah. It really does, but it's better to do it right than to make them all sticking up and looking really sloppy. Okay, so you're going to just do this over the entire paper. And that's all we're going to be doing today. So can some of them go off the page? Sure. Some of them can go off the page. Once again, we just want to make sure that it's glued down really nice. And then if I go off the page, I can always get my scissors, turn it over, and really nicely turn that up so that it fits my paper. Okay? Then as, as, as I'm doing this as well, I can kind of go around and say, oh man, I didn't glue that down well enough. I need to fix that. That way you're able to do that. So I think... Just to break it up a little bit before I go to my next watercolor, I'm actually going to add another little piece of just red paper here just to 
kind of break up the watercolorness. Okay, so once again, we're going to do this over the whole page. And I haven't even got to all my watercolor techniques yet. I'm just still ripping and gluing because I don't really like the way that this is sticking down, if I want to be honest. I mean, it's not even noticeable to you on the camera, but I want that to be glued down really, really well. I want it to be nice and flat. If I notice that your project is sticking up all over the place, I mean, we're going to have to redo it and fix it. So better to take your time and make it look nice, okay? All right. So here's my saran wrap one that I did. Get glue everywhere. It is possible to have glue all over your paper and to not have it spread all over the place. So I'm going to hold that flat. And you can see it's creating a red background without actually having to Just paint it solid red. It's giving lots of different textures, right? Once again, I don't like how that's sticking down, so I'm going to go back and add just the tiniest bit of glue, and I'm going to hold it. It's very possible that you don't get this done today, and that's okay. That's definitely okay. I mean, you can also like glue stuff and then you might come back later and be like, oh wow, I don't like that there. Look, do you see how I even left a little bit of white peeking through right there? That's fine. That is okay. And hold that down. Hold, hold, hold. Get it all nice and flat. Okay, so the only technique I still haven't used is just my drip. I don't even think I'm going to do that big with one. I'm just going to do a little one. Right there. The I'm going to do a little bit more of just the red, I think. I'm going to do a bigger piece. just a little bit. So I'm going to stop there so that you guys can get to work. But once again, you're going to do this over the whole page. Can you leave white areas? Absolutely. Can you have areas that go off the page? Absolutely. But you need to trim them nice and neat. Okay. Um, let me just say once again that you need to be using all of the different techniques. So here's my plain red paper, here's my salt, here's my saran wrap, here's my wet on wet, bubble wrap, wax resist, and my drip, and then my plain red paper. So I'm kind of just collaging this all over the place. Um, most important things to remember today. One, you have to use all of them. Two, yes, you can leave wide areas. Three, yes, you can go off the paper. Four, they have to be flat. Five, you have to use a glue bottle. Six, you should not have a ton of glue everywhere. It'll look sloppy, messy, and like you didn't take your time. And lastly, notice the size of the papers that I'm ripping, okay? They're different sizes, number one. Number two, they're overlapping. But three, they're not ginormous, okay? I don't want to see anything like this. I definitely don't. This is the biggest it should possibly be, okay? Because we really want to create different layers of different textures um, because, you know, that's what we're focusing on. We're focusing on texture for this project. So I really want you to focus on layering and um, how you're kind of blending and mixing all those different textures and putting them together, okay? So now I'm starting over again with my salt, and that's what you guys will be doing today. It's, once again, it's very likely that we will have to finish this step tomorrow, but we will come back then, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.